welcome. My name's Gaina from Fitfish. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about getting your focus right. So do you feel like you're trying your best to live a healthy lifestyle, but you're a bit all over the place and you're not sure what to do, what sure what not to do, what to try next? You feel like you're flailing around a little bit and it's so easy to get swept along in different directions and feel like you haven't got anything firm to hold on to when trying to choose a healthier lifestyle and that you, you want freedom. So it's just a bit uncertain where to go. That's why diets so often can appeal because they give you some structure and something to hold on to, making you feel like you're in some kind of degree of control. But the problem is, of course, you can't hold on to them forever. And sometimes holding on is, is far too unrealistic and they can also affect your mindset and when you don't get the results that you like, you don't want to hold on to them anymore or that you think you haven't got the results that you like because you're not holding on tight enough. And it can all be really, really complicated. Well, what can we focus on instead when we're trying to live a healthier life? Like anything, as always, the answer is, of course, Jesus and what God would want from us. So to gain freedom in our healthy living choices, our first focus actually needs to be having freedom in our choices. In the Bible, it says that everything is permissible, permissible, <laughs> permissible, but not everything is beneficial. And that's, of course, true. You can do anything you want to, but it's not always beneficial. So what does that mean for you? So mistakes aren't the problem. God has a plan B. He knows that we will make mistakes. We won't always do things the way we want to every time. And that's not the problem. He can help us through those. But bondage to those mistakes can be. And that's what God wants us to set us free from. It's not what he des desires for you. So first of all, take anything before God that you know you're not free from that holds you a little bit in bondage. Perhaps it's overexercise. perhaps it's late night binge watching television, perhaps it's emotional eating, perhaps it's unhealthy habits. He cares, he wants to help, and he wants you to have fullness in life and in all areas of life, including this area of looking after our body, spirit, and soul. And then secondly, Make sure in your other choices that weight isn't your focus. Weight is a little bit irrelevant, really, unless we were going to walk along the street and pick each other up. It's it's not really relevant. Yes, yeah, sure, you might want to lose a bit of body fat. You might prefer to look a bit different. But if you're focused on God, then those things will follow. So concentrate on being healthy and balanced in your decisions, and then the weight will follow behind. And remember, it's not the action that you take. There's not, it's not that there's good foods, bad foods, right things to do, wrong foods to do. It's often the attitude that we have. So I could finish this video and go for a long walk. Now that could be done in a very healthy attitude, as in maybe I've been inside all day, need some headspace, haven't really processed some stuff, and I just want to get out and stretch my legs. Or it could be that I think, oh, I ate a cake for pudding at lunch. I need to get out and burn off 600 calories, otherwise I'm never going to lose that weight that I've put on, and then I won't be able to eat anything tomorrow. So same action, but completely different attitudes and mindsets. So the first thing to do is make sure there's nothing we're in bondage to and take those before God. And secondly, with all our, of our other decisions and actions and choices, make sure that the focus is a healthy balance rather than focusing on your weight, because all food can serve a healthy purpose. It's not the actual food. It's not the actual things we do. Sometimes it's it's about where our attitude is. Um, so focus on healthy choices for body, spirit, and soul. And imagine there's a spirit level with a spirit bubble in the middle. If that spirit bubble is in balance, then the four corners are in balance. And that's the same for us. If our motives are with God at the center to live a healthy, balanced, free life, then everything else will fall into place, including your weight. Okay, I hope that's helpful. And uh, let me know what you got from that and take care and I'll see you soon.
Bye-bye.